All uh, right, this is take quattro. Um, yeah, this is uh, New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling's Don Taku 2011 pay per view. 6,500 fans. Uh, yeah, not bad. Huh? I mean, I'm sure they in, just juice the numbers up a little bit, but it's probably around 5,000. It's a solid house. It's full. I guess I'm sold out. So, yeah. Good anyway. The show was good itself, so let's get through it. Uh, okay, we had Honoma Tamaki, uh, Nakanishi Manabu, and Takahashi Hiromo versus Jado Gato and Killer Rabbit. Um, this was short and sweet, you know. Then we had Takamichi uh, There's no score for that, by the way. It's just short and sweet. We had Takamichi Noku and Taichi versus Tiger Mask and Kushida. Um, yeah, Taku was badass going in this, but you get Tai Chi's uh, douchebaggery that offsets this, so it wasn't so bad. Uh, yeah, was just, uh, this was all right. Taku and Tai Chi worked well together. Uh, tai Chi going for the mask, tiger mask. While Taku is like being all nice and friendly, it was great. It was great tag work from the uh, yeah. Goats. I believe that's what they call them now. Mexico the Eagles. Alright, then we had Yano Toru, Zaka Takashi, Zuka Takashi, sorry, and Ishi Tomohiro versus Tenzan, Hiroshi, Anoe Otaro, and King Kuali. Uh, guess how this match started? You got your uh, classic, obviously. Your classic uh, Azuka running after the skinny little announcer. Ah! Ah, ah. And then they ripped off his shirt, dragged him around, same old shit, starts on the outside. Uh, this isn't a match we haven't seen ten times already. I mean, it was still decent. It, it filled up space. Um, I think on a card with ten matches, though, this didn't need to be on here. It could have been nine matches. It could have been eight, even. And just give it a little more time, but yeah. I'm not going to knock him for it. Uh, you can't have everything super card. Gabe Sapolsky used to do that, and, uh, God, it blows you up. Alright, so, um, hmm, yeah, uh, Onway was isolated for, uh, the first five minutes or so, it was a pretty long time, which was good, because he's a smaller guy in the match. It makes perfect sense. You don't go after ten times in a way. But Tenzan was the one who got the tag in, and he was coming in with the Mongolian chops and all that. Uh, Yano comes in and actually hits a Mongolian chop. Boom! On Tenzan, which leads to him getting his face kicked off. Uh, yeah, it's just great thing, great stuff. Uh, King Folly gets in, turns into a mediocre stuff until he gets hit with his big steel glove and power bomb. Uh, King fail, uh, strikes again, have a good match for Christ's sake, it's not that hard. Mark Henry did it. Mark Henry. Alright, uh, then we got a, our first title match of the night. It was uh, the CMLL Middleweight Championship of the World. Challenger Dorada, Masquerade Dorada, versus Jushin Thunder Liger, the, le the living legend. Uh, I get this at like 72%. Uh, pretty solid match. Very solid. Uh, this is the first, uh, obviously the first title match. You know, major Mexican title. Semi major. I don't know. It's about nothing. Uh, Dorado comes out to the Dorado comes out the badass like mariachi music, which is really cool. I used to love it in Mexico when I was in Mexico. I loved the mariachis. He even has a cape, but no match, no match for Liger. He's got the greatest theme music of all time, the greatest cape of all time, and the greatest effort of all time with the silver Raiden hair. Uh, yeah, the Raiden look was cool. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Dorado was kind of beat at his own game early on, but to be fair, Liger's been tearing it up worldwide for years. Even before Dorada's mother had a few too many tequilas and uh, he was conceived, so. Yeah, he's only 22. Liger's 46. 
Mike gives the H to the Undertaker and twice his mobile. He's better. All right, yeah, I don't know. I'll occasionally, occasionally, I'll like shit on the Lucha style, but Dorado's only 22. I mean, he can make a few botches for now. Just not Sin Cara botches. All right, anyway, yeah, this match is actually very good. Um, great stuff. There's a moon salt where Liger drop kicked, up like up kick off the ground. Well, Dorado was doing a moon salt, which is pretty good. Um, Liger made Toronto look very good, like he belonged in there. Uh, he probably won't look that good all the time, but he will eventually look that good all the time. Yeah. Alright, yeah. then we get IWGP Junior Tag Team titles. Uh, no remorse score, Rocky Romero and Davey Richards versus the champions Apollo 55, Prince Devitt and Taguchi Ryusuke. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, this was the biggest challenge to date for Apollo 55, no, no doubt about it. Uh, great video package, detailing the history between Richards and Devitt, and uh, just Apollo 55 and NRC. NRC defeated Apollo 55 at the Junior Tag League, so obviously they're the biggest threat so far, and they have a legit reason to challenge. Uh, Richards starts it out with a funky weapon. Uh, yeah, he. Um, quickly asks for Devin after an exchange. Devin's tagged in, the crowd is, you know, they're getting ready for Devin, toe, Devin, toe, yeah, they're ready to do all that. But Richards does kind of a fuck you and then tags out my games. It's very good. Um, yeah, Devin and uh, Romero have some good chemistry. Just, there's some good stuff. Uh, every time Apollo 50 out kind of gains an advantage, uh, Richards and Romero seem to cut them off. They can't sustain anything against these guys for a long period of time. This great synchronized diving from dives from uh, Romero and Richards. Uh, not the Olympic sport, but you know, the Olympic sports you don't get to smash into people all the time. All right, um, yeah, it's just great stuff. The match was kind of unpredictable. I don't want to go through all the spots, but. It was cool shit. You get the dangerous stomp. You get unexpected kicks. All kinds of stuff. Just uh, a really good match. Like seventy-nine percent. Very solid. Very good. I don't want to spoil the finishing uh, stretch or anything, but it was good. All right, then we got our first like big, big match feel type of match. Bad intentions. Giant Bernard, Carl Anderson, the Machine Gun. <laughs> Uh, versus No Limit, uh, Yujiro and Naito. Naito is obviously uh, far better, but yeah, always mention Yujiro first. Alright, yeah, I got this match at like 80% at least. I don't know. Um, other people can watch, they can make up their minds what they think about it. I thought it was a good fucking match. I don't always want to read things, but I will sometimes to keep it in like. If it goes over 80%, you need to see it. If it goes 80 or more. Okay, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of fucking title, cha title not changes, title matches on the show. Um, you need to put the star power in the pay per views. So, uh, WWE, TNA, Impact, whatever. They don't. Um, yeah, Anderson and uh, Takahashi started out. They got a good little exchange. Then Bernard and Naito get in. Uh, Bernard uses his brute force, but Naito eventually outquicks him and even hits him with a big, powerful open hand strike, also known in America as a uh, pimp slap. Um, yeah, just uh, great stuff. Bernard makes Naito pay with a huge Vader bomb to the uh, ring frame. Naito's DDT down the ring frame. Naito's taking the biggest beating you've ever seen. Takahashi hits some big lariats. Cactus clothes line, that sort of thing. Uh, just this the story is mostly about Naito, no matter what they throw at him, always coming back and not just like crawling around, but like saying like what else he got, which is great. It's part of the reason why I love Eddie Edwards right now. Uh, yeah, bad intentions, just great combos, great tag moves, great isolation. Uh, they show why they're one of the premier tag teams in the world. I mean, it's between them and Kings of Wrestling. Everyone else is a distant uh, 
runner up. All right. Uh, Naito's actually hit the gun stun, but saved at the last quarter second <laughs> by Takahashi. Um, yeah, just a uh, great heroics, I would say, just played by Naito. He even hit the German suplex on the giant, on the edit, Bernard. Uh, just uh, great stuff. And Naito survived the magic killer, which is just bit my tongue. If you follow uh, New Japan and all, that's the finishing move of Giant Bernard and Carl Anderson. Which was very impressive. Got a huge, like, oh? It's kind of like Tim Allen. I don't know. Guess Japanese crown, so I like to all time. Anyway, uh, amazing, uh, yeah, amazing match, and probably the best uh, match of the tag reign since the Blue Justice match last year. Good stuff. Uh, Naito is definitely the future of New Japan. Mark my words. I mean, Goto, I think, might get that first, but Naito is going to be like the flag bearer, sort of, I think, after Tanahashi. All right, then we, we had like a badass uh, G1 Climax, uh, the Invincible Fighter kind of preview. That was kind of awesome, man. Top that. Even, that was cool. So, uh, yeah, we got that, and we got a video package of Killer Rabbit. Why? All right. Then we had, uh, back from intermission, a special tag match, Goto Hiroki and Taiman Tonga versus Sugira Takashi and Hashi Makoto. Uh, why was Hashi in this? Hashi doesn't belong there. He's not a star. Um, I didn't even know he was on the Noah roster. He was a fall guy. What a piece of shit wrestler. I mean, I'm sure he was good 10 years ago, but there's nothing, no talent left to that guy. Um, more she was slapped the rest of it, I don't know. Um, yeah, Tonga is good and even performed The Undertaker dive, but only about two feet longer and a lot harder. She's kind of violent. Like, yeah. Um, ah, did I mention Hashi sucks? This match was only shut one good thing. It's, Goto looked dominant. I think Goto should have just maybe faced a guy like Hashi one-on-one -on -one and just decimated him. Not even Hashi, a bigger guy. Maybe Tommy. All right, special singles match was next. Uh, it was the opposite of the last match that put me to sleep, which put me to sleep, sorry. Uh, Nagata Yuji versus Tanaka Masako. I get uh, like 75%. Uh, there wasn't exactly any cuddling to start out, but lots of hard kicks, legs, chest, face, wherever they got to hit them. Uh, they got to take them to the outside against the former ECW champion. Why? Uh, Tanaka works on the leg on the outside, slams off the table, the knee. Uh, just Tanaka works on the leg very well, figure four leg lock. Uh, Mr. Blue Justice survives that. And, uh, yeah, they just keep going, lots of crazy stuff. Uh, the sliding knee was countered into a, uh, it was rolled into the arm bar by Nagata, which is the classic uh, Nagata. He's got the arm and he's got the face going. I don't know, the crowd flips out at the face. It looks like he's going like, to shit himself. You, if you can imagine Dusty Rhodes calling that, he, ah, he's, ah, he's got to, he's got to shit himself. Classical. Oh. He he get rid of he, he get rid of dead. He's getting rid of it. He's going he's gonna take a dump in the ring. Oh that's gotta hurt. Something like that, I don't know. My dusty's not too good today. A little tired. Anyway, yeah, it's just a good match, uh, good finish. Decent finish anyway. Alright, then we got a special singles match. Makabe Togi versus Kojima Satoshi. Just abysmal match. It's not. I'm not gonna read. It. Not applicable. It's not like minus five stars. It just these guys phoned it in. This match was so bad, so lazy and slow that even the corpses in the cemetery got up for a piss break and some popcorn. All right. Post match, Kojima's beat down by Taka Taichi and surprisingly Minoru, as in Suzuki Minoru. Just great, great stuff. Uh, 
Kojima and uh, Makabe seemed to really, uh, respect each other now as they shook hands. Which was good, but didn't make up for the shit fest of a match. No, I can't wait to see uh, Suzuki around. Alright, IWGP heavyweight title, main event, obviously. Challenger Nakamura Shinsuke versus the champion Tanahashi Hiroshi. Love this match. I'm not gonna rate it. I'm just telling you I loved it. I thought it was a match in the night. Great unpredictable counters. Lots of crazy stuff. Check this out now. I recommend the match and the entire show. Very interesting stuff. Skip the Hashi match. Fuck Hashi. Post match, we get we set up the next title team. We know already. Uh, Eight out of ten overall. Check it out. Uh, and check out Super Card of Honor if you're in Chicago on this Saturday. Uh, all right, uh, enjoy the matches and uh, I don't know, peace and love and love, love anyway. All right, later.